surfing in St. John, it, um, it's, uh, the, the waves aren't as consistent as what you would think of Nova Scotia or you know, down the States or whatever. But on the other hand, zero lineups. So when we do get waves, you got maybe two, three guys out with you. You know, I've been down New Hampshire surfing a few times. There's 50, 60 guys. Nova Scotia. Well, I got a couple spots down there where there's no guys, but most most of the popular spots everyone knows. So I'll take the less consistent waves, not battling with uh, with uh, you know 20, 30 guys to get one. Every every surfer, every surfer in the world is looking for their own spot. Yeah, because there's no one ever out, man. So it doesn't matter where you go. It's you know you can come out here like today, and the waves are you know not bad. I mean they weren't epic by any means, but. There's two of us out, three of us out, I guess, guy in a kayak, so, right? So, you know, it's great. Winter swells all over the world. That's what people wait for, and it's just more, it's just better. The waves got a little more power in them for some reason. They're more consistent, there's more storms, there's more low pressure systems pushing up the coast. So that's the uh, unfortunate thing of the whole surfing scene is the winter time's the best time. And so as long as you can get your head around that you're gonna freeze your butt off, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fun, it's still fun. Summer surf, it's just, you know, it's flat, man. It's June, July, forget it, right? Uh, you know, August, the hurricane season starts up. Uh, August, September, October, right? November, nice. And then once you get into December, and it's just, well, you see what it's been like, snow, rain, snow, rain. Well, every one of those storms is, is a low pressure system giving us swell. Now, I don't know if I want to go, you know, it's cold out, whatever, but, you know, you knew once you come out here to see the waves, you're going to get a few. So, yeah, totally worthwhile every time. For me, if it's two, three feet and it's clean and the and the rides are long and, and whatever, that's, you know, a little bigger than today would be really, really awesome. But you get the idea today. I mean, they're nice long rides and, and clean. So for me, that's what it's all about. You get you get plenty of that in St. John's. That's a good thing. Yeah, if you're looking for the double overhead barrels, <laughs> keep on going. <laughs> there's more than enough spots. There's more than enough wave to go around in St. John. And even if it did get a little more popular, it'd never get to the point where you're, you're fighting for waves like like in the States or Nova Scotia, right? There's such a such a hardcore community down there in Nova Scotia that it's, there's a lot more people down there, right? So small city like St. John, you don't, you, even on a big day, you never get a bunch of people out like you would in those places. Surfing alone took a bit to get used to. I only had one other guy I surfed with, and so if he wasn't around, he couldn't do it. Got another friend at work involved, so had to, you know what I mean? But still had to get used to the idea that if I want to surf as much as I did, I'd have to go by myself. And again, you're not dealing with massive killer waves here. It's, it's you know, the, the biggest around here would be like five, six feet I've ever seen, you know, maybe seven feet. And again, if you ask any surfer in, in Nova Scotia or the States, that's not, that's not anything to, to be worried about, right? So once you've had a bad couple spills and got caught in some bad spots and realized that, hey, I'm not going to drown, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a confidence builder, right? Yeah. So then they, you come out for stuff like this, it's, you know, no problem. Yeah. And as long as you don't panic, man, that's the big thing is don't panic. And any surfer you talk to will tell you the same thing. It's, it's don't panic because once you panic, you're, you're done, right?